So I mentioned Christmas earlier, and yeah. Julia, we are going to make edible wreaths. Oh. Now, a lot of people don't understand what this is all about, and in fact, you didn't when I first showed it. Yeah, you? I was just thinking, is that the potato for Christmas dinner? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. This is the one that we're going to make for an edible wreath. Okay. The potato needs to sit in your hand. Now then, hands are different sizes. Come on. Look at that. It's massive. Yeah. It's quite a big tater for you. Yeah. Me? Just an ordinary one, Julia. <laughs> Thank you. So all you're going to do is get an ordinary sized potato that fits in the palm of your hand. And now what I want you to do is to get a skewer. A metal skewer works better than a wooden one because potatoes are actually quite hard yeah. to get from one end of it to the other. Would a knitting needle work? I've tried it with knitting needles but they are a bit slippy so okay. you can try it and you could try it with like a tomato knife. But whatever you do, you need to be really careful. Okay. With do we need so, one of them health and safety warnings flashing up on this video? Can you do them, Gareth? No, no he's this round. No. Like, no. Anyway, yeah. right, so we're not <laughs> okay. doing that. No. So what we are going to do is hold the potato like you would an egg, and it's up on one end. And all I want you to do is to work out about a third of the way down. When you've worked out where that is, I'm now going to make the hole by using a skewer. Way through, making a mess all over the floor. <laughs> Terrible. Who cleaned? Having skewered me. Who oh, right. think? <laughs> <laughs> one person makes a mess, one person cleans. Okay. Mm. It's a thing in our own. Right then. So, taken that out, and I've got a piece of wire, florist wire, and because I've made the hole, it goes straight the way through. Now then, tie them together by folding one over the other until the ends have both disappeared. So you've used florist wire, but could yeah. we use something like the wire we've got down the allotment? Yeah, garden oh, right. wire, okay. etc. is perfect. Okay. You see now that that is how the wreath is going to hang. That's a very cheerful wreath. <laughs> it's nothing on it, Julia. That's a potato. Right then. <laughs> you see, it's going to okay. be a long day. So, Greet people with a potato. That's lovely, <laughs> that is. Yeah. I've got lots of bay trees here. At yeah. Home, and what I do at this time of year is I start to strip them of little twigs. Yeah. And you can, it doesn't matter that they're not perfect. Okay. But what you do need to do is each time you're going to put a piece of these into the potato, you need to make sure that you've cut it at a sharp angle. Secateurs are of Is that the my moment. junk? Yes. Oh, I like to uh, be useful. Well, there you Thank go. you. Cut it at an angle. And now what I'm going to do is start one end and work my way round simply by pushing the bay twig into the potato. Work your way round the circle from one end to the other. Mm -hmm. Probably catch up with you, Julia. Now what are you going to do? Do you want the rosemary? So I've gone all the way round the outside of the potato, all that way round, and now what we're going to do is do an inner layer of rosemary. That smells nice. Stop saying that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So what's happening is that the gaps are being filled in by Rosemary and she doesn't know. <laughs> I mean, if we'd been professionally lame, we'd have planned this first, wouldn't we? We'd have had all this prepared and just stuck it all in. And so it's starting to fill up now, Julie, you see, for all our antics. So what I'm doing now is we've got some sage off the allotments and I'm just popping that in as well. Yeah, you've been robbing, haven't you? Yeah. Your plot. Hmm. Well, that's a work that one out because you've not got any on yours. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I think that's me. Ah, that's very pretty. Thank you. Lots yeah. more oranges to pick up. Come on. Here's some more wire earlier. Oh, look at you. Incredible. <laughs> 
So I've got some dried. They're all dried because yeah. I did them actually. Okay. And you've done loads yes, of, yes. of um, orange slices. And all I'm going to do now is wire them in. Oh. So, they don't want to get out. That looks all right, Elaine. Are you saying stop? <laughs> don't put any more in? No, keep going. Okay. You need to balance it out. Yeah. So, there's rosemary that can be dried, but you can put the twigs in water and they will sprout, I promise. We've got bay leaves and all you've got to do is dry them out. Orange slices, stick them in your gin and then we've got sage if you needed it. As an emergency, Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah, in. yeah. And uh, occasionally we've put some chilies on, haven't yeah. we? And we've also put some cinnamon sticks, sticks yeah. as well. well. It all looks lovely, Elaine. Subscribe to the podcast now. Search Potty Plotters Podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, and click follow to never miss an episode.